Hi my name's Ian welcome to the channel if you've not been here before and if you have been here before then welcome back. In this video we're going to be fitting a SolidFi rear door lock which is an internal lock which uh, basically acts as security for the rear barn door so basically if we've gone out for the day and uh, we just uh, somebody tries to uh, get into the van via the rear doors basically this will stop the rear doors from opening. This kit is available for a Fiat Ducato Citroen Relay and Peugeot Boxer that's for the H1 and H2 models that's in height 1 height 2 you can also get another kit for the H3 model if you've got one of those as well but obviously just need to specify that when you're ordering it uh, the kit itself came from Amazon and it was about £27.80 or something like that so uh, not too much money uh, for what it is so it's just going to act as a little bit of extra security so uh, what we'll do now we'll uh, get into fixing it and I'll switch you in a bit cheers so this is the basic kit that you get uh, it comes in three sections so we've got a small section there a large section here and also then the locking mechanism which is there all comes also comes with a selection of instructions uh, in english and in dutch there might be some other instructions on the other side of the page but uh, that's all i've seen at the moment so basically what we need is a t40 torx bit to uh, basically remove the existing bolts or some of the existing bolts that are there for the rear locking mechanism as it stands so at the top of your barn doors, basically you've got these this section here with the three bolts in it and you've also got the section on the other side with the three bolts in it as well. What we're going to be doing in a minute, we're going to be removing two of these bolts on this side and two of the other bolts on the other side here as well. And the specific ones you need to do, which we'll go into in a minute, but basically this thing will fit across here and basically the locking mechanism fits in the middle and it stops these doors from opening if somebody attempts to get uh, through the locking mechanism you know the standard one that's on there it'll just help just to stop the doors from being ripped open or pulled open should I say. So the first thing we're going to do before we undo the nuts is we're going to mark the existing position of the door lock itself so I'm going to get a pencil and just literally draw around the outside of it of where it sits at the moment so we can then if necessary mark that uh, get, if it comes out position we know where we've started the next thing we're going to do we're going to undo this bolt here this bolt here and then just loosen that bolt there With the two bolts removed and the top right one loosened, basically you slide this into position and then we then need to then, then realign the locking mechanism and tighten the other to tighten all three bolts back up again. With the left one now in, I'm now going to remove this bolt, this bolt, and then loosen that bolt off. Please note that these bolts have actually been, have got thread lock on them, so they can be a little bit stiff to get out. If uh, you think, oh blimey, it's, uh, it's rather stiff coming out, it won't come out by your fingers, it's because it's got thread lock on it. And you may want to re-thread lock them back in when you reinstall them. So that's it now with the two sections in place. And then basically what you have to go through here, there's a pin that goes through there which you lock into position. So basically you have the pin that goes into the hole, we lock it over and that holds it in place and stops the door from opening. When the pin's not in use there is a slot to put it in here and that's it now then with the pin out of use in its locating position when it's uh, so you can open and close the doors. I think basically for the money you know it's ever sort of just short of 28 pounds it's not bad an extra little bit of security i know you know if somebody wants to break into the van they will do but uh you've got the opportunist who thinks he might be able to get in through the back doors because you know, he's out of sight or something it's uh, just that extra little bit of security and i said for the money it's uh, probably well worth it well i've now come around the back of the van now and i'm just going to attempt to open the back doors with the solid fi uh, lock in place Basically, the top is not coming out at all. You can see at the bottom there, it is sort of pulling away a bit. But uh, yeah, as I said, just for the extra bit of security there, I think it's worth it. 
One thing to note is that do not have the pin in position whilst you're driving because should you be involved in an accident and the emergency services need to get in through the back for any reason, then obviously by having the pin in place, they will not be able to get in. So just make sure that you take the pin out when you're driving and hang it in the other position. To install the kit, it probably takes no more than about 15 minutes. I mean, it's taken me a little bit longer because obviously I've been filming it, but uh, yeah, if you lay yourself 15 minutes for it, that's gonna be plenty of time to get it done. Right, that's the installation of the SolidFi internal locking system now complete. Uh, this card came in the kit. If you want to go onto the internet and find out a little bit more about them, this is not a paper motion in any way or form. I actually came across another YouTube video the other week on this and thought it was a good idea. So I thought I'd just do a video of the install myself in case anyone else was interested in it. But uh, yeah, that's it completed now. If you've got any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you again in the next one. Cheers.